Hey guys. Um, I just... <sighs> okay, so I, I don't even know really where to start. Other than the fact that today... What's today? October 29th. But, but I have had the craziest last couple of days. So... I'll rewind back to four days ago, October 25th, when my period was due, and I had some pink blood when I peed. Just thought it was normal. I'm like, okay, got my period. No worries. Was a little bit crampy, like normal, like period cramps. And then, don't know if this is too TMI for some people, but I put in a tampon because I thought I had my period. And then a few hours later, well, actually probably like six or seven hours later because I was working. So when I got home, took it out like a normal person, nothing, no blood. Also, side note, I'm wearing the coziest, softest sweater ever from Luca and Gray. I'll link it down below. Although this isn't, this video is not going to go up for a very long time. But I just wanted to document everything while it's still fresh in my brain. So anyway, so I was texting my friend Mandy and I'm like, holy shit, like I was bleeding and... Now I'm not, I'm due for my period this week. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, like take a test, like that might've been implantation bleeding. Like you might be pregnant. So I'm like, whatever, like we've only been trying for literally two months, two months since he's been home. So I go and pee on a stick. And what do you know? I'm pregnant. <laughs> so, I took a test, it was positive, and it's one of the like two line, like red ones. So I'm freaking out, took the test, it was positive obviously, I didn't have any other tests, so I like run while I drove, but I ran over to Target really quick, um, like instantly, I was like I need to go, quick, need to go get more tests, like right now, like I need to like be 100% sure, which obviously I won't be 100% sure until I go to the doctor, but sure enough, three more positive tests, and they're the digital ones that say pregnant or not pregnant, and I have four pregnancy tests here that say I'm pregnant. So I found out that I was pregnant four days ago. So I'm super excited and I already started buying baby clothes. As you can see, I'm sitting in the future nursery right now, looking at it, just filled with ideas in my head of what I want to do and just so excited for how this room is going to be transformed into a nursery. and. Me and Jason are just over the moon excited and I just can't wait. Like I said, I just wanted to like document this as the feelings were happening. Not only for myself, but just so it's like also fresh in my mind so I can give an accurate representation of what is actually happening. Like documenting this whole thing. So yeah, I according to my last period and all the pregnancy apps I don't know where my phone went that I have downloaded let's see how far along I am this is just according to the apps and stuff obviously I haven't seen the doctor yet today I am four weeks and three days which is so crazy four weeks pregnant I'm like a month pregnant that's so crazy so again my last period was September 28th 2019 so according to all of that 
and like the apps and stuff my due date is july 4th as of now which that could change you know i could be further along i could be less further along i really don't know until i go to the doctor which won't be i wasn't able to get an appointment until december 2nd which kind of sucks it's five weeks from now so then i will be nine weeks but they can't see you until you're eight between eight and ten weeks because you can't see anything on the ultrasound because right now my baby is the size of a poppy seed which is really tiny so yeah um like i said i just wanted to document it as it was happening so um i haven't really had much symptoms yet other than my boobs hurt it's like violent pain it is horrendous it is really bad like it's actually worse if I'm not wearing a bra which is so weird but it's like a, like if I'm wearing a bra all day I'm fine and then as soon as I take it off it like they kill me so that sucks and also I've been slightly nauseous which everything that I've been reading was saying that within the next week or two is when I'm really gonna start if I do start getting nauseous that's when it will come um, so I haven't been sick so far um, but I've only known for four days that I've been pregnant so yeah um, I guess that's it I'm going obviously to make a pregnancy announcement video and I will document everything as much as I can along the way and I'm so excited I'm so excited like my Pinterest is already like I've only known for four days that I'm pregnant but <laughs> my Pinterest is full of stuff like nursery wise and I've been watching like all of these pregnancy videos on like must-haves for newborns and must-haves for pregnancy and I'm just super super excited and I cannot wait so yeah I guess the next time I see you in this video will be at my doctor's appointment which will be December 2nd so I'll see you in like a month so hey guys um let's see it's December 7th the last time I filmed was uh, I'm pretty sure it was October 29th that I said um I just rewatched the clip so I could like get like a refresher on what like I said um right now I'm just getting ready we are going to take our Christmas pictures um, it's like half Christmas pictures and half like our pregnancy announcement pictures um, again 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 I have no idea when this video will be up but I just wanted to kind of like I said in the previous clip I just kind of wanted to like document as much as I could I literally have not filmed on my channel in like over a month like ever since I found out because I cannot explain like the tiredness like it is so real especially with working full-time so I literally like my days off I do nothing like my house is a mess I'm so tired I just literally sleep all day and like watch movies or tv shows and I'm just in bed um but anyway, that's besides the point. But that's why I haven't been really filming because um, I'm still in the first trimester. So I'm almost out of it though. So I'm 10 weeks today. Like I said, it's December 7th. It's a Saturday. So I turn like a new week on Saturdays. So 10 weeks today. Exactly two weeks until I'm out of my first trimester. I'll be 12 weeks. And everyone keeps saying like the tiredness will go away by then so fingers crossed for that because I am just so tired and I don't know if you can tell in my how I'm talking right now but I'm out of breath just from talking I literally get tired and out of breath from just talking it's really crazy um so I wasn't able to film at the doctors just because 
there was so much going on and it was like my first appointment and ultrasound and the ultrasound literally happened so fast like they took us in there and did the ultrasound and it was like five minutes she literally got like she was so nice and everything but she got like four pictures I think that we have printed um but it was really quick she like went over did an ovary did the other ovary and then she showed us the baby took like four shots showed us the heartbeat showed us the heart heartbeat per minute I'm pretty sure it is um so she showed us all that it was really quick um and I just was like so nervous going into like my first ultrasound anyway that I didn't want to like bombard her with like oh like can I film like for my channel she's probably like well, what the fuck no so anyway I saw a sign in there anyway that said no filming or photography anyway so um I was gonna film like after the doctor's appointment <sighs> I need to catch my breath but I just haven't like I said I've been so tired so um I'm getting ready right now I had a minute um to just sit and talk for a second so um like I said we're going to go take our Christmas and our announcement photos let me show you the letter board so this will be the letter board that we're using there's a little picture of my baby <laughs> So it just says baby due July 2020 so we're gonna just like hold this I'm also gonna bring the reel of ultrasounds and we're gonna hold that up um, no one still really knows besides my really close friends not even my really close friends um, from my hometown in Jersey just like my maybe like two or three friends know that live in Virginia and I have one friend that lives in Wisconsin that knows just because, like I said in the previous clip, I, like, texted her the day that I found out and being like, oh, my God, like, um, I think this is implantation bleeding or whatever. So she was, like, there from, like, the very beginning. So she has known for a while. Um, it's so crazy because I was just watching the clip previous and I was like, oh, like, I'm four weeks, three days or whatever, and now I'm ten weeks today, so... It just went so quick and I'm so excited and I'm literally getting emotional thinking about it so I can't think about it but I'm so excited when we went into the ultrasound um, I cried so much and Jason's like are you crying I was like yes I'm crying I was like I've been crying for days <sighs> I'm really excited um, I think I mentioned symptoms earlier but I was so early that I didn't really have any symptoms um, but to this day 10 weeks today like I said knock on wood have not have not vomited um, I get slightly nauseous I almost threw up one time I had to run to the bathroom but I didn't throw up um, also almost threw up in a Walmart parking lot once because I lost uh, the receipt like blew out of my hand so I was like running after it so I guess from just like running around I almost threw up then literally in the parking lot next to my car <laughs> We laughed about it for a couple hours. Um, so yeah, haven't been sick. Um, just food doesn't really sound appetizing. Like I'll eat when I have to, but I'm just kind of like, ugh, like nothing sounds good until something does sound good and then I'll make sure that I get it and eat it. Um, my boobs were, like I said over in the other clip, violently hurting from like four to seven weeks, I would say but now it's not it's not as bad like they hurt but not nearly as as bad um one symptom that is new is itchy nipples which is so glamorous i know but they're literally like so itchy it's so annoying and i joined this like mom not a mom group but like a july 2020 babies group on Facebook and I like keep writing in there like oh my god is like anyone else having this symptom they're like yes I'm like alright good so like at least I'm not alone um but yeah other than that I don't really think I have many symptoms oh my face is breaking out a lot um I've never broke out this much in my life even like when I was in high school <laughs> so thanks for that baby um but yeah so I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all I really have to 
catch you up on. My next ultrasound, I'll be 13 weeks. I think it's like 13-4 or 13-3 that I'll be, um, which is on New Year's Eve. So that's super exciting. And then I'm going to try, like I was just saying to Jason the other day, I'm going to try to get as many family members' reactions as I can, but I also don't want it to be obvious with like a camera pointed in their face, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. But I will see you at the photo shoot. I'm going to finish getting ready. I only have like 20 minutes to finish, so I'm just going to curl my hair really quick, and then I'll see you there.